What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked just so I know you did it. And let's jump into it. All right, drivers and dashers, what is going on? Uh, no email, no article. Um, this is me just kind of shooting from the hip. Uh, it's something that I've wanted to talk about um, due to the changes that have been happening with Uber Eats lately. Um, so this is me just kind of riffing. It's just ranting and rambling. Uh, so if you guys, you know, if that's not your thing, I totally get it. But this is something I wanted to share. So um, if you guys don't know, lately Uber Eats has really been cracking down. Uh, and what do I mean by this? If you don't know, um, they've basically on the order accept screen, they have been omitting like 90% of the information, if not all of the information about the restaurant name, the order amount. Basically at this point, it's only telling you how far away from your current location you are from the merchant or the restaurant. Um, and they're omitting all the information that you need to know about how many miles it's going to be and, and how much the payout's going to be and the name of the restaurant and whatnot. Uh, and a lot of people are saying that this has a lot to do with the fact of uh, acceptance rate if it falls below 85% or something like that. I, I, don't, I cannot confirm that at the moment, so please don't hold me to it. But with that being said... Um, is this the end now for Uber Eats as far as drivers? Uh, are drivers going to even really want to continue working or partnering with Uber Eats uh, if they're not going to be able to view all of the information that we should rightfully be able to know about? Again, this I always go back to my example of a tradesman, okay? Uh, a plumber, an electrician, uh, a carpenter, you know, a anyone that, that, that works that kind of a job where they're an independent contractor running their own business, you know, they would want to know how much they're being paid, where they're going to do the job, what they have to do for the job. You know, they wouldn't just show up at someone's office or place of work or home and just, you know, just randomly get to work. They would need to know the details and what, the, you know, and have an agreement. And the fact that, you know, Uber Eats is omitting this, this is, that's a huge step in the wrong direction. And this is clearly a way to try and crack down on the cherry picking and the, the multi-apping. But what's going to end up happening here is people are going to leave the platform as far as delivery drivers are concerned. And they're going to go to other places. They're going to go to Grubhub. They're going to go to DoorDash, you know. And that's why I always tell you guys to diversify big time. Okay. You know, I have the sign up link for DoorDash. If you're not signed up yet down below in the description and Grubhub, go to grubhub.com on your phone or tablet or uh, computer laptop, get on the waiting list and, uh, you know, at least have it as an opportunity, you know, get on shipped, get on Instacart, uh, get on spark delivery with Walmart, you know, uh, get on Lyft, as well, you know, for, for ride share, you know, because you do not want to put all your eggs in one basket. I know there are plenty of people out there who only drive DoorDash. There are drivers out there who only drive Uber Eats. There are some drivers who only drive Grubhub. I would urge you, like I said, to diversify and get on the other apps for reasons exactly like this, because when changes are made that are this drastic, it's going to hurt your bottom line. Okay. And it's not fair. In my opinion, I think Uber Eats is going to go back to giving the details again. It may take some time. But when there's enough complaints from drivers, you know, saying that this is ridiculous, and then they see less and less people signing online, they're going to see. But sadly, 
a lot of brand new drivers aren't going to know the difference. This is only for veteran drivers or drivers that have been working, you know, up until this happened. So we got to talk about this. Do you think it's the end for Uber Eats? Let us know in the chat or the comments. And of course, if you ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a question, a topic, a story, an article, whatever it is, be sure to send it to me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Also, for a quicker response, you guys can always reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. And as you can see, there are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them if you guys want to sign up links are down below as i mentioned who's going to be the next patron maybe it will be you and of course i hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called get upside the link is in the description down below just scroll down this page and click on the link that says get the free gas app it's very simple to use it'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone tablet or device that you have and then from that point all you got to do is go to your gas station pump your gas print out your receipt take a picture of your receipt with the get upside gas app and within 48 hours or so you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back which is pretty fantastic and if a friend or family member signs up using your code you'll get paid every time they pump gas it's called get upside links in the description down below make sure to download it today and finally for all your t-shirts hoodies and goodies visit paid to drive store.com that link is in the description and you guessed it the pin top comment down below we've got lots of great new designs colors sizes you name it we probably have it on sale every day at paid to drive store.com that link is in the description down below and the pin top comment and of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for all of you. Let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comment section below saying end 100, E-N-D 100. Just lets me know you did it. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know. You enjoyed the video and it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked L I K E D just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on paid to drive and paid to drive logs. And as always drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.